Are you looking for a quick and easy way to get your Christmas cards put together? Because it's that time of year. It's time when we enjoy receiving cards. We enjoy sending cards. But sometimes the thought of doing our cards ourselves is overwhelming. So I've put together an idea that came from inspiration from my Facebook group to put together a Christmas card that doesn't take a tremendous amount of time by using our coffee cup prompt for this month, which was, wait for it, collage. So let's pull out some collage papers or let's create some gel prints to generate collage papers in the Christmas holiday scheme and put these cards together. But first, let me introduce my channel. I want to collage some papers to use in creating these cards, but before I start talking about that, I want to thank Shirley for the inspiration that she gave me in our Facebook group to do cards this week. A lot of the posts that are coming in from people that are participating in these coffee cup prompts are just amazing pieces of work that people have done just following along with what I am doing with these prompts. This whole month has been collage, and there have been some beautiful photos posted in the Facebook group. So I would encourage you to hop over there and, and join us and participate and and just have fun with this. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to put some ideas out there and hopefully you will come up with your own ideas or follow along with mine and post what you do over in the Facebook group. So as you can see, or as you've probably noticed as I've been yapping away, I am laying down one color and utilizing some type of household item to create interest. Now using a shot glass, and I'm going wet on wet, red on gold, and just putting circles down that I can pull with another piece of tissue paper. I'm using tissue paper abundantly or most prominently in the collage papers that I'm creating because I know that they will be thin and I can put them on top of a card and it will not be bulky to mail, it will not be a, a bulky piece. And these are Christmas cards, so you know they have a short they have a short lifespan. So that gives us some collage, additional collage paper. I know you watched me create the first one. Let's just do one more. Here is some gold. I have this thread. I'm laying that down on the press. And that thread serves as a mask, and I love the way this looks, but as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, boy, wouldn't that look better if I had laid a color down first on my tissue paper? So we're going to do that, but let's get this one finalized. So I've pulled that thread up, and now I want to pick up the color that was underneath that thread. So we have two pretty good-looking little sheets of collage paper. They have a lot of white in them, but I'm okay with that. So now let's lay down a gold background. And I grabbed the wrong paint. So I just put a dab of bronze on there. So let me skip that up and I'll set that aside and we'll come back to it. But let's lay some gold down. And this will be our foundation. So now we have that nice gold tissue paper. Let's put that bronze on and put the thread down once again. And I'm gonna pull that other tissue paper that I had that was had a lot of white in it, and I'm gonna pull the color from around my thread on that, and that creates a pretty interesting little collage paper, I don't mind saying, with the bronze and the gold. 
And I'm just going to clean that up once again with a, with a sheet of copy paper. And now I'm going to pick it up the thread and I'll pull that on my gold background on the tissue paper. So there we go. And that, I think, makes a nice-looking collage paper, that gold background with the bronze threading running through it. Come back in with some bronze. Put some drywall marks down from the drywall tape. That drywall tape makes this nice little square. Lay that thread on top of it. And now I'll grab a lid and put some circles on there and we'll have a nice little bronze piece of collage paper with a lot of different marks. So I will get that pulled and then we will go to work on putting our cards together. Just going to cut this tissue paper down a little bit and kind of configure where I want it to lie. And where I have the edges showing I want to use that tear ruler to create that jagged edge so it's a little more interesting, I suppose, than just that straight edge. And this is all about just positioning until it goes together in a manner that is appealing to you. It doesn't... um, I don't think that there's any real chemistry here or any formula, in in my opinion. I just like to piece it together until I can look at it and go, oh, that looks pretty good, (laughs) and I lay it down. There's no principles involved in anything I do. It's all pretty much to to the eye. And I think, if anything, I am a perfect example of a very untrained individual that just enjoys working on the table and trying a lot of different things. So if you are like me, hit that subscribe button and follow along with me. I'm trying to get better on posting my things over on Instagram, but... I still have that work-life balance that I struggle with. I'm working full-time still, but not for long. I'm going to be stopping that rat race here soon in the upcoming months and spending more of my time doing the things that I enjoy. So we are now on card two, I believe, card two or three. I'm not sure. I've been talking and not counting. But I think this is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to turn on a little bit of music while we finish up the rest of these cards. And I'll meet you when I show you how to decorate the leaf that I am going to use for my focal point.
all four cards are now collaged, or all four uh, pieces of watercolor paper that I cut down to the size that will fit nicely on the front of a card are all collaged. And now I want to pull out the leaves that I used in a previous coffee cup prompt. If you remember when we were doing index cards, we spent some time echo printing by running leaves between two index cards through our hotshot or used a rolling pin or a hammer to get that tannin out of those leaves onto our index cards. And I rolled mine through the hotshot. They it pressed them nice and flat, and I saved all of them and stored them in between these book pages. So I'm going to pick the leaves that I would like to use for my cards by just going through the remnant of a previous project. So I hope you saved yours as well, and you can follow right along with me. So now I have the four leaves chosen, but you know, that green leaf doesn't look very holiday-like to me. So I've pulled out my craft paint in pure gold. It's a metallic paint. It is a folk art paint. And I'm utilizing that to color that leaf in this beautiful gold color. And I'm being very cautious as I paint because, of course, this is a dried leaf and the paint will preserve it. And I am also going to go over it with a coat of glue and water when we put it on the front of our collage. But I don't want to tear this leaf up. So I'm going with the vein or with the vein pattern with my paintbrush along the leaf. I think I like the vein pattern on the back side of this, so this one got painted on both sides. I'm going to paint one extra just in case they have any breakage. And there's a little stem that fell off, so I'll paint that and we can glue it into place. So see how nice that's going to look? So I'll let those dry. And once dry, I will come back and glue these into place. <clears throat> so now we have our four completed collages. Four painted gold leaves right out of our yard or our walk. And I'm thinking about this card. And, you know, it's kind of like from your yard to my yard. So over the holiday season. So I... I I'm only making four, you know, and I'll do something else for the rest of my cards. I like variety. But let me get this glued down. And get these leaves in place. And we'll continue on, <clears throat> excuse me, with the other two. And once that is dry, I will come back with two things. I'm going to start with my gold luster wax and just kind of add a little bit of shine to that gold paint by rubbing this luster wax into the leaf.
and I went to go around the edge of the card with this shoe or the edge of the collage just to give that that gold shiny edge and maybe sneak in a little bit on the corners. And I use my fingers with this. I don't know if that's the right way. I'm sure there's some sort of application tool you could use, but to me, my finger worked just fine. And now that I have that all down, I'm going to go back and just kind of polish up. And when I take that uh, clean cloth, and polish over that luster wax on that leaf, it really brings out a beautiful shine on, on that leaf on the card. And you can't really see it. The, this doesn't really pick it up. So it's kind of one of those things, I guess, that you have to see in person. But it does create a beautiful, a beautiful shine on that leaf. And now that they're all together, I want to protect them um, with just one more coat, and I'm going to my hard coat by Mod Podge, and I love this. It just gives it, uh, I feel like it gives it just a bit more protection and a bit more than just the glue and water. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the name of it, but in any event, I like to use it, and I'm coming back with that hard coat over all four of these, We'll let that dry, and that will finish up the collage portion. Now that everything is dry, I just want to, one, go back over and make sure I don't have any loose edges, and two, just add some of that vintage photo ink around the outside edge to give it just a little bit of depth, a little bit of that vintage look to it. Now that I have that completed, I am a huge fan of the liquid pearls, so I want to come back in and just put three dots on each of my cards to just give it the card front or the collage front just a little bit of dimension. So now everything is dried, everything has cured, and here we have our four finished pieces that have been collaged as a result of the inspiration that Shirley gave me over in my Facebook group. And if you like my content, I hope you'll give me that uh, thumbs up because that does significantly help my channel and if you want to participate with us in those coffee cup prompts or if you just want to see what everyone's doing pop on over to that Facebook group. I've glued these fronts down on a piece of white cardstock just folded in half to create a card and I have envelopes that they will fit down in and I think this quick and easy collage inspired by my Facebook group post over on Two Old Crows Mixed Media on Facebook has provided me with a pretty nice start to getting some cards done for the season. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll come back and join us for next month. We have one more collage video that is coming out and then I have already pulled for the month of December and I'm pretty excited about what we'll be doing during December. I shall say bye for now.